Now that you know the benefits of Docker Scout, let's take a look at how it works in practice. For this demo, I'm using the Scout Demo Service Repository that you can find on GitHub. First, we need to build the image locally using the docker build command. In Docker Desktop, click on the image we just built and analyze it. If you expand the Express Vulnerability and then expand the first CVE, the fix suggested by Docker Scout is to update the underlying vulnerable Express version to 4.17.3 or later. Now we can update the package.json file with the new package version. Now let's build again, this time tagging the image v2. Click on the v2 image and analyze. Here we can see that the critical vulnerability has been fixed. There's still a vulnerability, but it's only medium severity, so we can leave it. There are still a few vulnerabilities to fix. First is the base image. If we look at the Scout recommendations, it shows us the suggested version of Alpine. We can just copy and paste this into our Docker file. Before we update the Docker file, let's take a look at the rest of our vulnerabilities. We can see that there's an open SSL error that we also need to fix by adding it to the Docker file. Now we can open our Docker file and paste the recommended Alpine version. And we also need to add open SSL to the first run command. Now let's build the image again, this time tagging it as v3. Click the v3 image and analyze. Now we've fixed all of the critical vulnerabilities and our image is clean. When you're working on Teams, you can push your image to an image repository within your organization using the docker push command. Next, you need to enroll your organization with Docker Scout using the Docker Scout enroll command. Now we need to enable Docker Scout for the image repository using the Docker Scout repo enable command. You can use the Docker Scout dashboard to view images and vulnerabilities in your organization's repository. This dashboard also lists policy status, image layers, and attestations, which are useful to pinpoint where security problems occur. For your next steps, I invite you to practice using Docker Scout. We have many resources linked in the description to help you ensure the security of your container images.